southeast Kansas, Cherokee County, um, at the trout pit. And uh, I had special permission to come out here and, and do some diving and uh, effort to, to try to clean the place up. And um, uh, I just dove for a couple hours, just had some spare time and found quite a bit of trash and some lures. And I'll show you guys what I got here. Okay, so here is one just wad of stuff that I found. Uh, it was in a brush pile and it looks like there's some pretty decent lures in there. There's a little buzz bait. I got a rattle trap. That's that's junk now. There's no hooks on it. It's all rusted out. Let's see here. Yeah, there's more lures on this thing than I realized. Here's another crank bait. Try to clean that up. I don't know if that's going to be any good or not. Probably not. We'll see. I actually found a pretty nice crankbait right here. It's an old, or a, a six cents crankbait. Looks like it's still fairly new. So that's a score. I think those are about six or seven bucks. Found a bobber. Um, found a nice little, like a lead spoon type thing. That's actually in pretty good shape too. I'll keep that. And uh, let's see, and a little rooster tail. Let's see what else is in this mess. Looks like there's a few rooster tails in here, some hooks, a spoon. Let me get this cleaned up and then I'll get back with you. Okay, so got a hook here, old, old crankbait, got a some kind of like little beetle spin type thing. And then another one. This one actually has a, a swivel on it. And this one's just trash. The hooks are all rusted off of it. Circle hook. That's actually still a pretty good good looking hook there. And we got uh looks like a little rubber crawdad on a little just a little jig head. And then here's that spoon. That's actually a pretty decent spoon. I could probably just clean that up and put some nail polish on there and make it a nice spoon again. Yeah, this is just some of the lures I found out here. And there's a ton more out there. I just did not have time to scan the whole the whole pond here. Uh, and then here's some of the trash that I got. Just a bunch of line and old beer cans. And, and you can tell he's been in here for a little while. <laughs> got old Dr. Pepper cans like disintegrated. Oh, and then I also had this here. I forgot about that. That's probably just trash. I could put a new skirt on there. It'd be a good lure. So this is the pit here. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good sized pit. Um, they they dug these back in the when they were mining out here. There's a lot of pits out here in southeast Kansas. And uh, you can kind of see the, the parking area they have out here. So there's a lot of, they have some cabins over there you can rent. I don't want to say it's like a hundred, hundred bucks a night or something like that. Has a little boat ramp. Um, it's got bathrooms. So yeah, they have a pretty nice little parking area out here. So here's a boat ramp area out here. And they have a little dock over there that you can fish off of. It looks like it's like the ramp up to it is flooded or something. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But the water, you probably can't tell in this video, but the water is actually super clear right here. Uh, you could probably see about four or five feet down. You can just see little bass and bluegills swimming everywhere. 